Hi, uh, this will be the first of three videos in which I describe how the shell works and how the shell executes your program. First off, what is the shell? Well, if you're on a Linux box or a Unix box and you have a console or a terminal that you're looking at, that's a process. And that process is called the shell. Oftentimes, it's a bash shell or a K shell or a C shell, but it's a prompt where you can type in commands. When you type in the command, uh, the shell will find that command and execute that command. Um, let's take a look at how the shell works. First off, here's an example. I'm going to type in the command ps minus a. Go ahead and do it. What you'll see is all the processes that are running on the system at this point in time. When you type that in, the shell first needed to read in from the console that command, and then it needed to find that command on your uh, computer. It needed to find the exe uh, or the executable of that command. Where does it look? It looks in the path. If you type echo dollar sign path, you can see the different places where the shell will look for that exe. Once it finds that exe, it goes and heads and loads it into a separate process. It uses a number of Linux or Unix system calls to do this. Let's draw it. Here's a process, the shell. I'll just call it the bash shell. It's sitting there as a process on your system, waiting for you to type in a command. You type in ps minus a, the shell reads that in, it searches the path, it finds that exe, and it needs to load it in its own process to run that process. So it calls the fork system call. You may recall what the fork does is makes an exact copy of the process and executes it as an independent process. The child process needs to run the ps minus a command. Inside that child process, we will do an exec ps minus a. That's another system call. Now, this is pseudocode, and you can look at the man pages to see the exact, exact syntax for the different uh, system calls. But we, what we have here now is this process and this process running completely independently. At this point, the operating system scheduler can decide to run the shell or run the PS. We want the bash to wait until that PS is completed. How does that work? Well, after the ship bash has forked the new process, it calls the wait system call. The wait system call waits until the child of the parent completes. When the exec has finished, a signal goes back to the parent and the bash puts out another prompt and waits for the next command. That's a simple case of the shell executing a single process. Um, in our next video, we'll look at the pipe and have two processes running where we pipe the output of one process into the input of another process. Thank you.